Hello everyone, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you in this online world. My name is Nikhil and I'm the head of curriculum at QMath. I'm going to take this opportunity today to run you through the QMath program and tell you what we thought when we made the program, what its parts are and how you can use it in the best way possible. The aim behind creating the QMath program was to create something which builds a holistic understanding of mathematics. Mathematics is a beautiful subject. Often mathematicians refer to it as the most beautiful language in the world. But if you ask most school kids, they will say that it's a subject which is boring, that they fear mathematics. Now this negative attitude is something that has been artificially manufactured through the way maths is taught in schools. Schools cover just a subset of mathematics. Mathematics is much more than the concepts, the algorithms, the procedures that typically happen in school. Mathematics is all about connecting ideas, looking for patterns, bringing a lot of unsolved problems to the table and trying to figure out how to go about solving them. And that's what true mathematics is all about. When we started out creating QMath, that is what we wanted to present. Students should get an opportunity to do all of these things and not just get buried behind drills and exercises, which is typically what they end up doing in most schools. The QMath program is divided into three parts. The first part is what we call school math. The second one is called mental aptitude and the third one is called creative reasoning. Let's go over each of these parts one by one. School math, as the name suggests, focuses on concepts, procedures and ideas that are typically covered in the school curriculum. These are done through worksheets which form part of a workbook. Every day, a student who's part of the QMath program would do a few worksheets, each covering a particular topic of that grade. These worksheets are built in a very structured manner. So they start with the introduction to that topic. Generally, this is a visual introduction and then goes on to a few high level concepts. And then there's practice to the point where students would be masters of that concept by the end of it. At the end of a set of worksheets on that particular topic, there would be an assessment which would be done on the tab. So school math, while is largely based on worksheets, has a tab component towards the end which helps us get data in terms of how well the student has understood that particular concept. The second part of the program is called mental aptitude. This is where we focus on developing mathematical skill sets which typically do not get covered in schools at all. These would include patterns in numbers, patterns in designs, series in numbers, series which are not even about numbers, logic, codes and other aspects related to that. Mental calculations also form part of this section and these are covered exclusively through the tab. In every QMath session, the student would get about 8 to 10 minutes tab time and in this duration, he would cover multiple of these skills. In covering these skills on the tab, the student would have to do multiple exercises each requiring a higher level of accuracy and speed to ensure that they not only master these concepts but also intuitively build the skills that are needed. The third part of the QMath program is what we call creative reasoning. This is a very exciting part of our program because at the end of every session, you the teacher would be giving the students one card which has a puzzle on it. Students take these cards home and on their own time try and solve the puzzle on it. They can either do it by themselves or they can take help of parents, brothers, sisters, cousins, friends to do this. This builds a very unique skill in these students, which is that of collaboration. It's fine if they can't find the solutions to these puzzles. The process through which they try and attempt it is what is most important aspect of it. When students come back for the next session, they will come back to you with a solution. You will have the solution keys with you, so you can either choose to accept the solution or give them more time to work on it. If you accept the solution, the QMath program will suggest the next puzzle to assign to the student. If he can't for some reason solve it, you can give him a small hint and give them more time to solve it. If they still can't do it in the next session, then report that on the app and the app will give you a simpler puzzle to assign. A bunch of these puzzle cards will always be available to you. And so that explains the three parts of the QMath program. Through school math, mental aptitude and creative reasoning, students would build a holistic understanding of mathematics, which goes far beyond what is covered in typical schools or any other math program out there. This will enable them 
to develop their skills to a certain level of threshold and expertise, which is beyond what most kids have an opportunity to do today.